everyone welcome back to my channel this is Stacy with crafty dragon creations today we're going to be doing um, one of the Margaret Miller prompts um, this is a, a 50 week prompt list that she has and I will um, put a link down below where you can get these prompts um, also I want to give a return shout out to Kirsten um, over at adventures and crafting um, I'll link her channel below. She's doing this too. I'm not sure if she's doing random or if she's going in order. Um, I'm just doing random, so, um, we're not doing the same, the same prompt each week. Um, although it might, it might happen depending on what we pick. <laughs> so, let's take a look and see. Oh, I said a return shout out because she's mentioned to me in a couple of her videos, so that's why I said that. Um, okay, so here are all my prompts. Um, I added this little pocket down here for the ones that would be too small to go down in there. So let's see. Let's just pick one at random. A piece of newsprint. Okay. I don't think I have... Does it have to be actual newsprint? I mean, I could print some off, but... Hmm. As I don't have any newspaper. I don't get the newspaper. So... I think I'm going to have to print some off. It doesn't say. I don't think uh, Margaret Miller is going to come after me or anything. <laughs> um, so let me gather some supplies, and we'll be right back. Okay, I have pulled out some things. I've got some material. I've got tea bags, some cheesecloth, some little ephemera stuff. And I printed off this. Um, I think I might use the bird. This is from July. Come on, focus. Well, anyway. It's July 18th, 1908. That's where this is from. And then this is from January 3rd, 1826. So I printed that off. Um, both of these I got from... Well, this one I got from Karen at Creative Paper Artisan and one of her, her tribe things. This one I think also came in it, but I think it also comes from the Graphics Fairy. So... Got those two, got some stencils. I don't really know if I'm gonna use them, but let's just see where we go. So I think I wanna take the tea bag and let's tear off this the sides just so that it's not straight line. That side doesn't like to tear easily. Tear this. Okay. So we have that. It can start off with that. And I think I want to use some of this material. Let's just start there. And maybe cut there. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing, so <laughs> I do not have a plan. Let's see. I wanna go I wanna go this way. Kind of do that. Um, let's see, let me get my focal point out here, I'm going to tear him out. Okay. 
Okay, so there's our focal point. Little birdie. Now let's see, is this too much? That might be too much. Maybe just do a little, a little smaller snippet. Maybe we'll put this this way. Oh yeah, I have this. Oh, that might be cool to go around him. This is a die cut that I have. Let's see, we also have some cheesecloth. Can't really go wrong with cheesecloth. And let's see. I feel like I need more another color element down here. I should be getting out my jelly prints. This just reminded me. Let's see. Yes, next time, if I remember, I will start collaging with my jelly prints. That's why I made them. Well, partly why I made them. Uh, let's see. Nothing else of real interest in here. Except for this. This is kind of cool. I don't really know. It's another little hummingbird. But then that would take away from him. So we won't do that. Let's look in here. This might be cool. A little piece of ephemera. So let's take that out. So maybe put it on top. Hmm. Then we could do a label. Or maybe instead of this, we can do a label. Maybe find a little bit bigger one here. Hotel Yellowstone. Kind of like that. Let's see if I can tear this. Ink that up. We'll use ground espresso. Get a nice dark edge on there. And I want to ink up the bird. like some kind of little hat on him or something. A little crown. That might be cute. So what if we put cut this down. The cheesecloth up there. That's really dark, isn't it? I keep singing Hotel California in my head. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I kind of wanted to use it, but I don't know. It's not, it's not jiving with me. Um, 
I wonder. I'm going to try and make. A little crown out of this is probably going to be terrible but I, don't know, I think it would be cute Kind of went the wrong way on that, didn't I? <laughs> no, I don't like that. Okay, let me try something else. Hold on. Okay, so I drew this little tiny crown just on this piece of paper and used a gold Posca pen to color it in. So, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Let me get this tea bag down. dry. Let me find some tweezers. That's going to be cute. Okay, but I need to wait for that to dry. So in the meantime... Them there. Put some cheesecloth up there. I don't. I don't know if I like this. Let me. Let me look for something else. Maybe just a little. I also need to incorporate my prompt. Oh, that just went flying. Okay. This is very uh, neutral colored <laughs> today. Just put that up there. And then, uh oh, uh oh, that's my crown. Uh oh, where did it go? Did you guys see where it flew off to? back and watch the video and see where it went <laughs> oh there it is okay so that's gonna go there I 
let's go ahead and put that down oh wait I need to put him down first though all right crown don't go anywhere I also need to put down my cheesecloth Put him down. Now we can put his crown on. got this idea from Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. She always likes to put these little whimsical crowns on. Sometimes she does it out of, you know, chocolate foil. So there's his little crown. I just thought it was fun and cute. Okay, let's get our prompt down. I feel like I need something down here, but I just don't know. I don't know what. How about the word imagine? Okay, we'll do that. Actually, let's cut. this brown off and we'll cut this kind of wonky and we'll ink it up I kind of want to highlight the crown here, so I'm going to go around it with this felt tip pen. Does that make it kind of stand out a little more? I think I'm also going to go. page it's kind of a little border Yeah. I like it. It's different, it's fun. Very simple. Alright guys, that is it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I would love for you to subscribe and, of course, come back um, for more prompts. We are on, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This is number five. Um, this one I don't have a video on. I just did it just to see how I would, how I would fare. So, 
This is the first one we did, and then we did this one, and then that one. So this is number four video, but the fifth prompt. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching, for joining. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.